one of you guys taking that man in the middle down tonight. It's all going to come down to what you did with the Copa to make it the star of your dish. So, Chef Marcus, what'd you make? I made a Copa tartar with fried Copa and a Spani gazpacho. It was lovely to be able to pour the gazpacho around this. I think I love the crispiness more than the tartar, but I do love the use of it in two different ways. I thought the tartar, it, it, it wasn't my favorite, but the crispy Copa perfection. The gazpacho is light, so good. Chef Nicholas, what did you make? Uh, I made for you tonight copa goat cheese gnocchi with bel blanc finished with crispy spicy copa. I really love the cream sauce. I think it's very vibrant. It really makes the copa shine. I think the miss though are these goat cheese gnocchi. They're really tough. Like Marcos, the, the crispy is delicious. The gnocchi is a little heavy for me, but the sauce is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We're just going to take one moment to discuss. I think these guys use the copa about the same in terms of level. I think this is all going to be about which approach they like better. Okay, chefs, you're both clearly very, very talented. But the chef moving forward tonight is... Chef Marcos. Thank you. I'm disappointed, but I'm very happy I took a risk and I will take it again. Marcos, you did a really yeah, great job creating two different... Guys, we are starting a live with my team. Hello. Hello. It's Bobby Flay season and Finally got you here. I know. I guess the first time I met you was probably the yeah. view. You I think so. You've had such an amazing career. The view, the Today Show, a millionaire. What's going to happen, guys? You pray? Yes. What is yes. It? The yes. ultimate goal is to get your teammates to guess 10 answers using 25 clue words or less. Oh. In fact, should you lose today, I feel you owe me okay. an appearance in LA. It sounds really tough. It's tough, but it's fun. I wonder if he could actually play it, though. Yeah. What do you mean? You gotta be, really you gotta be smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jada. <laughs> you ready to meet your competition? I'm ready, Jada. All right. Our first contender grew up in Spain and started cooking when he was 15. And just 10 years later, he's running six of Chicago's most popular restaurants. He's here to tame the bull that you bought. <laughs> Please welcome Marcos Campos. <laughs> Our next contender grew up catching and cooking fish on a Greek island in the Mediterranean. Mm. And now he is here to separate the meek from the Greek. <laughs> Executive chef, Nicholas Pomentis. <laughs> These guys have come to destroy you. Clearly. Mm -hmm. What's up, gentlemen? We have Spain and Greece represented. Yes. I'm gonna put 20 minutes on the clock. 
I'm going to give you a single ingredient of my choice, and you must make that ingredient the star of your dish. You can't just sprinkle it in there or something like wow. that. You know what I mean? Tonight, that ingredient is... That's Coba. my dad. Coba. It's a dry and curing pork product, right? The darker one is a little spicy. The lighter one is sweet. Do you use this in Spanish food at all? Yeah. No. Greek food? First time. First time ever. I like it. All right, guys. 20 minutes on the clock. Remember, make sure it's all about the copa. Okay, now I'm going to enjoy it. Thank yeah, you so it's much. It's kind of prosciutto-esque copa. It's cured and dried. I would do an open-faced sandwich. A cheese like a fontina that you melt. There may be some sort of fruit relish, like some figs or something like that, and that would be it. A frittata and this. Oh, yes. Even pasta with peas. Oh, or that's right. Bread sticks. Or figs. Or figs. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at you. Very <laughs> specialty, figs and copa. We'll see you at our holiday party. <laughs> I start combining flour, some goat cheese, egg, and parmesan because I want to make goat cheese gnocchi with beurre blanc topped with crispy, spicy copa. Sour goat cheese is going to make the smoky copa the start of my dish. I grew up in a small island in Greece, surrounded by fish and the best seafood. So I had a big inspiration from that. I went to culinary school in Athens and traveled across Europe to study different cuisines. When Greece hit an economic crisis, my family immigrated to America. I worked my way up at some of New York's best Mediterranean restaurants. In 2019, I opened Olivine in Astoria. There I do many Greek recipes. I work tirelessly and I'm very competitive, so I'm ready to take down the best chef in the world. I'm gonna go see what Marcos is up to. Okay. Just under 16 minutes, guys. High brown kale and tomatoes, red bell peppers, cucumber. Are we doing a gazpacho? Are you just spotting a pazzo? I'm making copa tartar with fried copa and Spanish gazpacho. Well, you got, you got me nervous. I know, I can see that, but why? I don't know. Just, just really want to win, you know? <laughs> I was born in Valencia, Spain. Mm -hmm. My father owned a potter shop, and he always told me, you always have to work harder than anybody. I went to culinary school, and by 19 years old, I worked at Chile Cuisine in a Michigan star restaurant. After three years, I was recruited to come to Chicago to run Black Home, the traditional Spanish restaurant. Since then, I opened three more restaurants, and maybe done. But I want to see how I measure up against an iron chef like Bobby Flay. Nicholas. So I'm making a goat cheese gnocchi. Goat with cheese. a bel blanc aji amarillo. The bel blanc is shallots, white wine, butter, heavy cream, aji amarillo paste. It's a very spicy pepper. It brings a balance to the salty copa. I love that chili. I use it all the time. Just remember that the copa is the key ingredient. Yes. Great job. Thank you. All right. Smells good. Nicholas is making goat cheese gnocchi with a pork block topped with copa. Wow. And I kept saying, copa is the star of that gnocchi. I take Giada's advice and I add copa. Nicholas, did you just put copa on the dough? Yes. I'm hoping this doesn't ruin the texture of my gnocchi, but I think it's worth the risk. I cut them and poach them. I like the simplicity of a gazpacho. But is it too simple? We kind of have to see the outcome. Fried spicy copa is gonna have a nice crispy element. I slice spicy copa for the salamandra and make it super crispy. Report back to us, Mary. Yeah, I'll report back to you. We're coming up on eight minutes, guys. Next, I'm chopping sweet copa and I'm making it into tartar. What's your game plan now? Yes, um, I'm gonna finish the tartar with, a, you know, like green olives. Okay. I will season it with lemon salt. Can I taste this? Yeah. You're gonna be really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Nicholas, are you worried about Marcos? Of course I'm worried. I've never cooked with copa. So you have no idea how this will taste? I have uh, an idea. Okay. You could take Bobby, right? Yeah, I hope. 90 <laughs> seconds, you guys. <laughs> you you try to put the meat in the gnocchi. Then I play the my gnocchi and I top them with crispy copa. It looks crispy good. copa. Love it. Hey. Nine, eight. And I'm putting it into the gazpacho on the side. It's beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Woo! So the both look absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to taste it. This is it. This.